<laughs> How's it chillin' bro hands? It is your boy D Dr. Enthusiastic. Sorry if I sound a little tired guys, I just got back from my flight from LA because your boy got to play the newest Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2019, early. And I'm gonna be the first person on YouTube to reveal it. Prepare yourself for some COD 2019 exclusive gameplay. The game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, and that is right guys. Call of Duty 2019 is apparently gonna be called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Not Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 like we all thought. Now I know I'm a little late to cover this, but obviously I'm gonna talk about it anyway because it is very interesting. How come we're not getting Modern Warfare 4? Why are we just getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So yeah, I figured I'd play some Modern Warfare Master while I talk about this. Let's find a TDM. I want to see if I can find all the articles and stuff. I don't want to get anything wrong. So first of all, let's talk about how all of this first came about. I believe the person who first found out about this and actually posted about it was Long Sensation YT, something like that. I'm sorry if I'm completely butchering that. Oh my goodness. And he was the person to break the news about the game being called Modern Warfare. And that guy from Kotaku who first put out like all the information about it being a Modern Warfare game, he basically verified that yes, it's going to be called Modern Warfare. Ooh, I was popping off at the end, especially for joining late. So here's the tweet. He said, I can confirm this is true and that it's hilarious. The first one was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So obviously the fourth one is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Video games are absurd. And to be fair, I kind of agree with this sentiment. Really, how do we go from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and then end up with Call of Duty Modern Warfare like three or four games later? On top of the fact that the game has been remastered, which is what I'm playing right now. It is kind of ridiculous. I'm not completely against this choice though. And I'll explain why. Because this guy from Kotaku replied to a tweet saying, are they treating this like some kind of franchise reboot? And he put in quotes, soft reboot. If it's kind of confusing, I'll just explain. Essentially what's going on here is that they want to bring back Modern Warfare, but it's been so long since we last got a game that they kind of have to like bring back Modern Warfare without actually following Modern Warfare 3. So I think this further confirms that the game could be a prequel game or it's just another Modern Warfare game, but it's not necessarily going to follow the storyline of COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3. Sure, there's always the possibility that it could tie into the other Modern Warfare games in some way, but it also could be a completely brand new story, which is kind of like exactly what happened with Ghosts, which still has me a little worried for obvious reasons. In a previous video, I was talking about how Call of Duty is the main brand and how Modern Warfare and Black Ops are the strongest sub-brands that they've created. And I really do feel like a reason why they've decided to go with just Call of Duty Modern Warfare and not Modern Warfare 4 is because it's in their best interest. Black Ops 4 kind of has mixed reviews and I really strongly feel that it's because it's the fourth installment of the Black Ops series. They kind of just made too many at this point, the game has changed in a lot of different ways, and that consistency is just not really there. And for that reason, the Black Ops sub-brand could be hurting because of that. So what they very creatively decided to do is not call the game Modern Warfare 4 because that could hurt the game, but still keep Call of Duty in the title and also still keep Modern Warfare in the title. It's kind of like trying to do like a really simple branding process, heavily simplifying everything so everyone knows exactly what it is without it possibly having any negative connotations attached to it. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't at least a little bit weird, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I personally think the worst thing they could have done is just call it Ghost 2. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was this dude doing? He ran up to me so fast and then didn't even shoot once. Oh my god, ACOG feels weird. This dude's got a weird ACOG. It's probably why he didn't shoot me. So what's my take on this? I personally find it a little weird, but I guess once the game's actually out, we'll get some more answers. Like once they actually do a reveal or if they do a beta, I think everything will kind of come full circle at that point. And once things are more official, we won't have to keep speculating. We'll actually get some answers and it will definitively shut us up. And some of us will either hate the game or we'll love the game. He doesn't know how to snipe. <laughs> I will just say right off the bat that I am personally a little bit biased towards this game. I would be completely contradicting everything I've said in the past about wanting a modern military Call of Duty game. Like a brand new one. That's what we're getting for 2019 and I am excited about that fact alone. It's really funny because all of this is just pure speculation at this point. With the exception of a few people actually knowing what the hell is going on. But it's fun to speculate. Everyone's making memes, everyone's making videos about this. And to be fair, I'm pretty sure we are going to be getting an official reveal soon. Ooh, we're just not exactly sure how soon. It could be this week, it could be next week. Maybe it'll be next Christmas, who knows? <laughs> Probably not that late. But yeah, it's definitely taking a little bit of time. And I, oh, my, not martyrdom! <laughs> okay, I got a helicopter. I'll no-scope you. Damn it. I got a helicopter though. I think what's really funny about all of this is that they obviously know that we're really excited for this game. Everyone has been dying for a modern military Call of Duty game, like a brand new one for so long. They have us right where they want us. And for that reason alone, they're going to keep us waiting as long as they possibly can. And then right once we're starting to get bored with all of this news and no one really cares, they're going to announce it's Infinite Warfare 2 and then everyone's going to die. Just my unpopular prediction. Nah, but I don't think that's actually going to happen and here's why. I'm trying to find the tweet where they're actually talking about like what the game is going to have. I can't find the exact tweet right now, but people were saying that there's going to be like a four player co-op for the campaign. They're going to bring back throwback maps from Modern Warfare 2 and 3. I don't know if that's completely true. I don't even know if I can find that original tweet, but I saw claims like that, which is what leads me to believe that it will be Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and they won't just pull some kind of last second 180 on us. I'm not martyrdom! 
<laughs> I hate martyrdom so much. There we go. There's a helicopter. For me personally, I really hope that they get Call of Duty Modern Warfare right. Because as I'm sure you guys know by now, I'm not a huge fan of Call of Duty Ghosts. And COD Ghosts was the most recent new modern Call of Duty game that we got. Like actually centered around Modern Warfare. And I personally feel like they did a lot of things wrong with that game. I've talked about how they got the map size to player ratio completely off. In simpler terms, the maps are just too big. Call of Duty 4 thrives so well because most of the maps were small to medium size. And 6v6 and 9v9 matches just played really fast. You didn't have to spend a couple minutes on Stonehaven just trying to find one one person. So no boring gameplay with these giant maps where you can't find anyone. Speaking of 99, the game better have ground war. They need to stop holding back ground war as this thing that gets added later on. Like, oh boy, the game's getting ground war eight months too late. Can we stop doing that? Ground war used to be a staple for every single Call of Duty game to have it launch, and now they just, they don't do it. This might just be my personal taste, but it's a reason why I didn't like Ghosts as much as actual, like, Modern Warfare games. And it's because Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 actually had real guns. You got your M16s, you got your AK-47s, Desert Eagle, iconic modern military weaponry. And then you have COD Ghosts. Let's look up some of the gun names. Well, actually, okay, they they had they do have real guns in there, but I might just be going too hard on them. I'm sorry. <laughs> but at the same time, they're not necessarily as iconic as the classic Call of Duty games. I know a lot of people who played Ghost like the Honey Badger, but come on, it's not as good as the AK. It's just you, you can't beat some of these guns though. Minus all the DLC ones in the remaster, but the M16, the AK, the M4, the MP5, the P90, the AK74U, the M48 III, the Barrett 50 cal. Hopefully, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we can actually get some of the Modern Warfare guns back. I don't know if Call of Duty 2019 is necessarily gonna have Battle Royale. I believe I also saw some tweets that were saying that there was going to be like a free-to-play elements for the next Call of Duty game. I think that's also part of that tweet about like the four-player co-op campaign. I'm not going to claim it as concrete information like that it's official or just completely true, but there is a chance that there's going to be like a free-to-play battle royale that's associated with it. One of the other things I saw was the return of Spec Ops, which would be pretty cool. I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops, so I'm not opposed to that at all. It hasn't really been typical for the Modern Warfare games to have zombies, so maybe the game won't have zombies? <laughs> maybe it'll have like an alien extinction mode like Ghost. Nah, but I really don't know. I don't know if they're going to actually do anything for the zombies players, and I'm sure that's really tricky for them to try to figure out. I got noob tubed. Wow. And then of course there's people like me that are asking for like super ambitious features like custom map making tools and mods and not just for PC six or eight months later. I'm talking about like at launch on every platform. I feel like that could be too ambitious. I don't think this game's going to have it. I just personally think it would be really cool. It'd be really ambitious and awesome for them to do. But at the same time, very, very unlikely. I also like the idea that if you can't for too long, you just explode. But obviously that's going to upset the camper. So they're not going to do it. That or if you can't for too long, you actually just get frozen in place and you can't move from where you are. That would be great. I know that's a little contradictory to the last video I made, but if I get caught camping, I wouldn't mind exploding or getting locked in place. I think I would deserve the punishment and I would gladly accept it. I also really hope that they consider having party games day one. It's actually kind of interesting how Modern Warfare Remastered has prop hunt and gun game in the standard game modes along with Ground War and that is considered to be a standard mode. Although in fairness, it took them a lot of time to actually add these modes, but I feel like that's because they weren't original to Call of Duty 4, so they waited a little bit. And when they did actually add those modes, people had a really good reception to it. But I really do feel like at this point in Call of Duty, we need to have like a competitive mode, standard game modes, and then really fun casual game modes for everyone when the game is first out. People are paying $60 for a brand new Call of Duty game and they should get all of this day one. Not just holding back all of these modes to be released later to try to rehype the game up. If they really wanted to try to hype the game up in the right way, they would be doing brand new game modes, brand new guns, and brand new maps later on to actually hype everyone up. Not just bringing back gun game in like three months and then prop hunt six months in. That whole kind of strategy or formula is just getting very old already. And I think I had talked about this before, but it's the idea of having the previous Call of Duty game having more content when the game's life cycle is essentially over and then the brand new Call of Duty game has less content at launch. It just makes the last Call of Duty game look so much better than the current one. And I really do believe that it makes it hard for players to get invested in the new Call of Duty game when it lacks content. Oh my god, the bog spawn trap. <laughs> Why are they putting so many claymores down? I almost had a quad feed. I want to feed on these guys, dude. Bog is the map. I miss being able to dive and stuff. I really do wonder if Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to have any like extra movement. Like if it would have a dolphin dive, a slide. Hope to God that there's no exo jumps. Oh my. I don't miss the flashbangs. Oh, no! I'm rusty on Modern Warfare Remastered. I can admit that. It's a completely different play style. I wish I could just like dive across or something. Oh, it's such a crutch in like newer Call of Duty games for sure. Can I at least just get a UAV? Is that possible? Yes! Let's lock them in. Line them up. <laughs> Let's get a bog wall going. Honestly, for the next Call of Duty game, the maps have to be so good. They can't be Call of Duty Ghost level of maps. That is for sure. Because as cheesy as it is, people get excited for bog wall. They want to watch people just spawn and be defenseless and just get a 50 man feed by shooting in a straight line for like a minute. It's hilarious. It's awesome. It's definitely more fun and more exciting than not being able to find anyone for like a minute. Oh my. Oh my goodness! I'm not gonna use a hardcore class. I'm just gonna use an AK with stopping power and deep impact. Because this Lynx gun I was using is way too weak. Oh my goodness, let me go. We're all gonna spawn right there. Eagle time. Oh, well, Eagle! 
they gonna spawn there? Are they? There's a dude over here. <laughs> I just popped off. I got a helicopter. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. I need a gun. No. <laughs> I was going off, but I had no ammo in any of my guns. That wasn't quite bog wall, but it was getting pretty close. Oh come on, move. I just team killed a teammate. I know you couldn't see it, but. I know my screen is disgusting right now, but it's still gonna be a, a terrible, undeserved feed regardless. Wait, is he bogging Wally up? Oh, uh, okay, the spawns flipped. I know bog wall is still possible, but it's not as easy as it used to be. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> Yo, the dude's helicopter just got a five man, like instantly! Huh? I only have one more team kill and I'm gone. Just like Black Ops 4 Hardcore, I wish MWR had Ricochet, but I know it's not traditional to Call of Duty 4, so they didn't do that. Still would have liked to have it, to be honest. With everything else that was added to this game and all the different modern integrations, I think it would have been a smart move, but I'm pretty sure it's too late. Are we gonna win? I honestly don't know. I don't think anyone plays the objective when you're playing hardcore on BOG. We won by one tag. <laughs> wow. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little discussion about the next Call of Duty game, which is apparently Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know whether you think it's a good or a bad thing that they're just gonna call the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs>